Would I pay $40? Yeah, Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right y'all, so they got me. <laughs> they got me to purchase the Ice Cream Beauty bag. Now, I've been getting the box and the box has been popping. So I figured, why not get the bag too? So they sent me the January bag. Well, they didn't send it to me like in PR or anything like that. I purchased it, you know, my own schmike. But I did order the January bag. So this one is a little bit old. I'm super excited to see what they have in store for February, you're gonna get three Ice Cream Beauty subscription videos this month. As you can see, your girls are making mole rats and it is for a reason. They always have really good makeup in here and they always have a palette. So I'm very excited to try some of this stuff on. Let's just look at the, the mailer though. That is so cute. I love the marble with the gold accents. I think that is so pretty and girly. You know, I love me some girly things. I worked out yesterday. I am excited to finally get on my fitness journey. I wanted to start in the beginning of February However, I had an ingrown toenail and I had to remove it. So you can't really wear shoes for like two weeks. And shoes are pretty important when it comes to like exercising. I had to wait a little bit, but I finally went to the gym yesterday and I did my thing. I was sweaty. Okay, sweaty, drenched in sweat. And I feel really energized and just like cleaner today. I don't know, is that just me? Like where you exercise and you feel cleaner? I don't know, the shower just be hitting different. I'm ready for this motherhood weights and depression weights to get up off me. Ooh, okay, so we got a lot of stuff in here. And they always give you a nice little card that tells you what's in there and how much it costs. We will look at that later. Reaching into my bag. Okay, what's in my bag? The first thing I'm pulling out says the glitter. Magic Castle Cosmetics. I'm guessing it's just like a glittery eyeshadow. And that's why it says the glitter. Y'all already know, if I like girly stuff, I obviously like glitter. Duh. Ooh. Okay, this is cute. Look at that. Look at all those beautiful colors. That is so pretty. I've never had like an eyeshadow that was like loose like this. I wonder if you need glue to put this on or if it will stick on its own. Ooh, <laughs> look at that. Okay, I'm not even gonna touch the, the pot right there. It feels like already wet. So maybe, maybe I don't need to put on a glitter glue. Maybe it already has the glue infused in it. So you can just add like some little dispersed glitters. It's giving Coachella. I've never been to Coachella, but this is what I imagine Coachella looks like. That is so pretty. Very mermaid. I don't typically wear glitters. I'm not sure how much use I'm gonna get out of this, but I will try it on today. Who knows? Maybe glitter is the thing I've been missing my whole life from my makeup routine. And I think this container is just so cute. It's the rose gold lid. I think that is so pretty. What else we got in this bag? The next thing I'm pulling out looks like a lip gloss. Oh, it's, it's not a lip gloss. It's a super gloss by Bella Pierre. And it's just this really pretty pink kind of color. I love me some lip gloss. What, what color is this in? It's in the color Runway. I don't know why I didn't think to look at the bottom. Usually they're on the bottom of the packaging. That's like Makeup 101. Yeah, it's just like a little gloss, cute little tube, like such. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty. I like that. Shiny. With a nice brown lip liner, that gonna be popping. Or like dark berry, brown or dark berry lip liner. And we will be trying this on today. The next thing I'm pulling out is also by Bella Pierre and it is called Refine. I'm guessing this is like a loose pigment. It's in a very dark color, so. Ooh, that is very pretty. Now, I've never worked with loose pigments like that. This will definitely be something I have to practice. That is gorgeous, very pretty. I'm not that good when it comes to darker eye makeup looks. I don't know, it just, it ages me. I don't know why. I'm gonna have to watch some tutorials and try some things out and see where I'm going wrong whenever I do like darker eyeshadows. Cause that is beautiful. I would love to have something like that on my lid. How do I do it so that it doesn't making me look like old lady. I believe this is the last item in our little bag. And it is also by Bella Pierre. Ooh, okay, I like this. I like this palette. Y'all, get into it. It is a 90s glam Bella Pierre Cosmetics. This thing is massive. Like, and I got a big head. This is huge. 
It's got so many colors in it. Honestly, palettes like this are a little bit daunting to me because it's just so much to choose from. You know what I mean? Like it's just so much going on where it's like, I don't know where to start and I don't know where to finish. We are going to play around with some of these colors. I might go out of my comfort zone a little bit. I might go out of, I might go out of my comfort zone a little bit and try some maybe blues. I'm definitely gonna use this face palette at the bottom. Peach is my color. This peach is just so gorgeous. This highlight is pretty, even though I'm pretty sure in the 90s, folks weren't wearing highlight. Like that's like a 2000s, 2010s type of thing. Well, definitely the 2010s. 2010s, highlighter was everywhere. You put it everywhere. You put it on your forehead. You put it on your nose. You put it on your cheeks. You put it on your chin. You put it everywhere. So I don't know why they included a highlighter palette in a 90s theme. I am not going to swatch this entire palette because that's a lot. That, that's doing too much. I will do a few swatches and try them out. Let me get y'all in here, come a little closer. As you can see, those are the colors, the colors. You definitely gotta build them up because most of these I had to go in like twice to get the color payoff that I was looking for. They're decent as long as they're buildable and don't make me look ashy. I ain't trying to be ashy. I put on way too much lotion to be walking around ashy. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my, well, this hand's clean. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my little dirty, dirty, dirty fingers and get this off of me. And we're gonna go ahead and play in some makeup. I'll be right back. And we're back. Nothing's changed, I'm just back. First, I'm gonna go in with this Grown Alchemist Anti-Pollution Primer. Primer Anti-Pollution. This has been my new primer. This is the texture. I like it. I think I got this from one of my mystery Ipsy's, which that's a really good product to get in an Ipsy. Just saying, you know, it's much better than hand lotion. I did order that Valentine's Day Better Than Flowers Mystery Ipsy. I got the bag and the bigger bag. <laughs> so I'm very excited to open that up for you guys. Guys. Just waiting for it to arrive. So we're primed, okay? Prepped and primed. Instead of using my Charlotte Tilbury, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty, my tried and true. I love Fenty. <laughs> this stuff is literally amazing. Two pumps and I'm done. I thought it's so bad. Y'all, it is so easy to lose yourself when you become a mom. I know this is like a heavier topic, but you know, we talking. So let me just talk, talk my stuff. I love being a mom. I don't ever wanna misconstrue it or make it seem like I don't love motherhood because I really do. However, that postpartum depression is a mug and it is so difficult to get out of because it's so difficult to recognize when you're actually in it. For the longest, I did not think I had postpartum depression. I was just like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm eating my feelings, but I'm fine. I just found that I was letting myself go a lot. Like I was letting myself go in so many different areas. I wasn't taking care of myself. I wasn't taking care of my skin. I wasn't eating right. I wasn't sleeping right. I just wasn't doing anything that I need to sustain myself and keep myself healthy, happy, be, you know, motivated. I was just like drowning in, I don't even know what to call it. Just, just depression. I mean, I guess that's the only way to really call it, call it just what it is, depression. I'm still struggling with it a bit, but I've made the decision now that I've recognized that I'm still dealing with it. I've made the decision to not allow it to consume me anymore. Doing like these videos, unboxing things for y'all, getting all these different products and taking care of my skin better, having something to kind of look forward to. Cause when you have a subscription box, you have something to look forward to every single month. And I have several. <laughs> that little added thing of something to look forward to and just a little self-care for myself. Well, obviously, if it's self-care, it's obviously for yourself. Duh. Putting more effort into myself has been making me feel a lot better. And I feel like I'm going to be a better mother by doing so. Because how are you supposed to pour into other people when your cup is empty? And mine was on the brink of being completely empty. <laughs> just nothing in the cup. Just an empty cup. Not halfway full not halfway empty, just empty. I recognize that if I want my daughter to take care of herself, I need to show her how to do it. She's watching me and you could say, oh, she's just a baby. She doesn't know. Children are a lot more perceptive than we give them credit. Bella, she watches us eat and drink and she don't want to use her baby stuff. Like her, her bottles, that only lasted for so long that she saw that we weren't drinking out of bottles. So what she want to drink out of? Glass cups. <laughs> My bougie baby want to drink out of a glass cup. I'm like, girl, she's watching me smoke around, eat my feelings. What is that teaching her? That's teaching her not to take care of herself. And yeah, you could say, oh, she's just a baby. It's not going to affect her right now. But I beg to differ because she be watching. Okay, she be watching you, girl, and she be trying to emulate. I need to give her something that I want her to emulate. So I've been really on a journey of making sure that I'm taking care of myself so that I can better take care of 
Bella. I can better take care of Justin. It'll just be a better situation all around. Y'all, I've been using this contour stick that I got from my first boxy charm by Pink Lips. Bruh, I love this stuff. I absolutely love it. And the packaging is just like super freaking cute. This has been my girl. Once I run out, I am definitely gonna get some more. And it's in the color cappuccino. I've been just taking some time to really focus on myself and focus on my happiness so that I can emit happiness to others. My content has changed drastically because I used to do a lot of reaction videos. I used to talk about like relationships and I wasn't a relationship channel, but I used to talk about relationships and things that's going on in the community and things like that. But I realized that talking about those things didn't bring me joy, right? It bring me a lot of stress. It was a breeding ground for drama. I realized that with everything that was going on in my life, the last thing I needed was to be consuming myself even further in things that were not bringing me happiness. That's why the switch up on my content. I am gonna go back to gaming. I've been just trying to slowly introduce things back into my lifestyle, back into my discipline, back into my schedule. And right now I've been focused on making sure I drop videos consistently. That has been a major thing for me because last year I was not consistent at all. I believe next month I wanna start doing shorts. Super excited to launch that. I'm gonna do that next month. I'm not trying to put too much on my plate right now. I want to slowly bring things in. That way it's more likely to stick because the problem that a lot of people have is that they try to take on too much and it gets overwhelming to the point where they end up doing nothing. I don't wanna burn out. I will be slowly introducing things back into my schedule. I think I waited too long and now it's like dried down. Well, no, it's still blending. It's gotta pull a little bit more elbow grease. If y'all didn't notice, I got my eyebrows done. They're no longer so like grown out where it's just you can't see anything anymore. For me, I have really thin eyebrows. Like I have sports, sparse, sparse, sparse eyebrow hairs. If I grow my eyebrows out, it looks like I have none. But when I get them done and they're kind of outlined, you can see them. I need to set my face. I'm gonna use my Lunar Beauty, my new stuff. Okay, that new new. Still working through the powder that I uh, spilled out the first time I saw her. This stuff smells so sweet. All right, I'm gonna just kind of dust away the rest of this powder and then we're gonna get into the base palette. Going into my Bella Pierre, I'm gonna first start with my bronzer. Oh yeah, it's bronzer. A little goes a very long way. I might have put a little too much. I might have put a little bit too much, especially on this side. This side is looking crazy. I'm definitely bronzy. Clean my brush. Okay, gotta clean the brush. Next, I'm gonna go into this peachy blush. Peach is my color. Very, very pretty. I love the peaches on me. The peach is just chef's kiss. I am going to try that highlighter. Oh yeah, I'm definitely highlighted. I don't know if you guys can see in the camera, but um, got a little shimmer. The face palette works. This might be like a palette that if I'm going on the road, even though it's big, it has like one, two, three, four steps of my makeup routine in it. So as long as the shadows perform pretty well, which we'll find out in a little bit, that might be my go on the go palette. My on the road again palette. I'm actually gonna try something different. And I don't know if I was supposed to do this before I put on foundation or not. So we're gonna find out. <laughs> I am actually gonna give this Jasmine Beauty Brow Boss a try. Now I've never actually like used a brow gel. Let me pull y'all in a little bit so y'all can really see. And so I can see myself. I saw a video of people using brow gels and they just kind of like scrape it. This pan is so tiny, difficult to really get in there. So I got a little bit of gels on the brow stuff. So let's see, hopefully it's not gonna look crazy. Is this what you're supposed to do? Oh wow, well, I have some eyebrow hairs that are just really freaking long. Is that what it's supposed to look like? I mean, I guess I kind of see a difference, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, but you know, did one side, so I got definitely gotta do the other. 
Y'all, I'm never going to laminate my brows. Brow lamination is basically just like getting a relaxer just on your face. And it's a no for me, dog. I mean, the laminated brow look is so pretty, but I'm good. I do not want relaxer on my face. And plus, it's, it's almost like people just forgot completely that a lot of women got cancer from using relaxers and now you guys want to put it on your face. They just rebrand it instead of saying, oh, relax your eyebrows. Oh, let's laminate them. We're, we're laminating our eyebrows. No, you're putting relaxer on your eyebrows and relaxer has been linked to cancer. Won't be me. Now I got my freshly sharpened eyebrow pencil. I'm just gonna fill this in just a little bit. It's definitely much easier to do my eyebrows now that they're waxed. <laughs> I was getting my eyebrows threaded, but the lady that did my eyebrows this time, she does she does it with the wax. Now, I love a good eyebrow thread, don't get me wrong. It hurts, I be crying by the end, but the shape and the way it lasts is everything. And our eyebrows are browning. Okay, let me see, what do I do next? What is makeup? Next is the eyeshadow, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do next. Do the eyeshadow. We're gonna get into this palette. Like I said, all these colors are a bit daunting. I do wanna play around with this. I'm not gonna lie, I do wanna play around with this. So I'm probably gonna lean more towards the blue. I'm gonna go into this one right here. Got a nice little buffer shade. Next. I guess since I'm gonna go for more of the blues, I'm gonna go into this one to kind of deepen it up, but I'm not gonna use a whole lot. I'm just gonna put a little bit right there. This brush might be too big. I'm gonna go do the same thing on this side, and then I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush. I'm just trying to blend that out a little bit more. The color kind of disappeared ears a little bit. Then again, I really didn't put that much on and for a reason. <laughs> I'm not trying to look like raccoon and just a little bit more. Eyeshadow isn't the best. It's a little bit patchy, but then again, it could be me. Bella Pierre could be that girl and I'm just not her. I just don't know what to do with her. All right, we look crazy. We look cray cray. Now I need to figure out which one of these blues would look best. I think I'm gonna go for this really light, really light blue. I don't really see it. Can y'all see it? Or do I look ashy? I just want my eye to look like this. Why isn't it picking up like pigment? Usually when you use your finger for shimmers, they work really well. I just look I just look ashy. I'm gonna try this one because this one is just not, is not good. Okay, this one seems to be showing up a little bit better. This, this isn't my favorite. This palette is not my favorite. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. Maybe I'll try this darker blue. That blue shows up a lot better. Now, I'm just gonna go in, I clean my brush off, and I'm just gonna try to blend, blend these together. Hopefully, I don't lose even more pigment trying to do this. Actually, I'm gonna dip into that darker shade and then blend it in that way. I think that's as good as I'm gonna be able to get it. Y'all already know, I'm not, I am not in any way, shape or form a makeup artist. So if things don't work out, it's not always the formula. Sometimes it's just me. I'm gonna take this deeper, deeper blue and I'm just gonna kinda put that underneath. Like that's not really doing what I want it to do. Ice Cream Beauty is usually popping. Usually their palettes are pretty amazing. This one, not my favorite. I wanted to like her. She's probably not going on trips with me. I love the blush. The face palette in this is really nice. Everything else, not so nice. I'm gonna use a little bit of this glitter and I'm gonna just like tap this on over my lid and see what happens. I think I just don't know what I'm doing with glitter because this doesn't look as nice as I thought it would. I'm like trying to like tap it on, see if that works. I'm just like sticking to my finger and then it's wiping off the eyeshadow, bruh. I don't know you guys, this, this glitter might just not be for me because that look crazy. I just think I'm not that girl. And it's okay to admit that. We don't have to be every girl. 
Say Shaka Khan, all right? I ain't gotta be every woman. Maybe like glitter will be something I could put on my highlight. Let me see. Maybe I could just like tap this on for like Coach Tella look. That's actually kind of cute. Okay, we did something with the glitter. We're glitterified, glitter, glitter, glitterized. I do want to let this dry down a little. Ooh, I like this. This is cute. <laughs> Maybe I'm a glitter girl. I do want to let this dry a little bit because it still feels a little wet, right? It feels a little wet. I don't want to go over it with my eyeliner while it's wet. Let's go ahead and go into the lips. I'm going to go back to my tried and true, my MAC. And what color is this? Cork. We're gonna try this lip gloss. Oh wait, super gloss. Okay, it's, it's not just lip gloss, it's super gloss. We're gonna go ahead and give this a try. Hopefully it goes with the look, cause I mean, this look is a little crazy. It has a funny smell. It's cute, I don't know why it's called super gloss. I think it's gonna be as dry as it's gonna get for now. I am gonna go in with my Stilla, okay, my Stilla. Another tried and true. I love me my Stilla eyeliner. I wanna get some more of those like liquid eyeshadows that they have, those liquid shimmers. Those are phenomenal. Like that's what I think Stilla is known for. Are there liquid like eyeshadows? Like you see how it's picking up the glitter? That's as good as it's gonna get. Uh... I need to wipe this off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spray this down and then we're gonna do the eyelashes and we'll be done. Okay, done. And I am using my NYX Matte Finish. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Mega Length by Wet n Wild. Next, I'm gonna go in with my ZC. You know, I like my ZC even though the wand is flimsy as And I realized I didn't put an inner corner. I'm actually gonna go in with the highlighter that is in this palette. No, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna use this as like my inner corner. Mm, now I just look ashy. I'm gonna try using the highlighter. That seems to be showing up a lot better. And that is the final look. Okay, I think, I don't know what I think. <laughs> Let me see. I think I look cute. Even though like the glitters are just kind of everywhere, they're not really placed correctly. I think this actually turned out pretty nice, all things considering. We looking cute and right now, let's see y'all can see. My thoughts. The lip gloss is nice. Don't know why it's a super gloss, okay? It's not super glossy, but she's nice. So I like her. Um, brow gel, I'm gonna have to play around with it and see how much I like it. I can't really tell right now because I just, I don't really see much of a difference. These glitters on the cheek are fun. Don't know about them on the eyeball, but on the cheek, on the cheek, they add a little something extra. I might be using this for my unicorn looks but only on the cheeks, not on my eyelids. Just, just, no, no, not on my eyelids. And this palette, the actual shadows are a no for me. It's just the, the shadows themselves are not that girl. However, this face palette on the bottom is nice. I like that face palette. The, the face palette is popping. The shadows, not so much. Let's go over these prices. Let's do it. This Bella Pierre Cosmetics 90s Glam Palette is $40. Would I pay $40? Hell no. No, the eyeshadows, they don't show up. <laughs> they just don't show up. And usually shimmers show up. I never really have an issue with shimmers, but literally all the shimmers in this palette did not work, except for the highlighter. Highlighter was amazing. The bronzer, amazing. The peachy blush, beautiful. Everything else, trash. I'm sorry, I hate to be so, so mean, but I have to be honest, okay? I gotta tell y'all like it is. The next thing is the Bella Pierre Refined Shimmer Powder. Leave that this little itty bitty thing. And this is 10 dollars the bella pierre super gloss runaway is 18 dollars. i don't think i'm paying 18 dollars for this but it's nice my lips look good and i've been exfoliating okay we went into war these lips are exfoliated so they look really nice they're not catching on to any crusties but i feel like if i did have crusties they would show up really ugly with this it feels good on my lips my lips don't feel sticky the new year bonus item was this magic castle cosmetics glitter gel and this was eight dollars this was a nice bag. Don't know if I'm going to keep this. I mean, the face palette is nice.
this. I might keep it for a little bit and see, but this will probably get decluttered by the end of the year. I'm just gonna keep it a buck with you. The outside is really pretty though. Maybe I'll keep it just for aesthetics. It's 90s. <laughs> and y'all know I'm a 90s baby. Gang, gang. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Febe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces. Get into it. Thank you.